Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, we're going to unbox some G.I. Joe action figures and today we have from the classified series Snake Eyes with Timber. And uh, as you can see, we got a really nice look at the box here with a really cool picture here. I really like the uh, artwork they, uh, they've made. You can see Snake Eyes running in a snowy mountain background with his uh, wolf timber. So I think this is a, a re-release of, um, of another pack, but this time we have uh, a white colored uh, timber, which is more accurate to his first appearance, I think, I can't remember. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the history lesson. Let's get to the action figure. So this is a very simple small box. Unfortunately, no window. I like the artwork, but I, really, I also like having a window. So yeah, we have a nice uh, artwork here. Nice look at the figure. On the side we have uh, I think he's number 52. There's a nice look at Snake Eyes here. And here on the back, you have a look at everything you get. So we get Snake Eyes with some hands, the wolf, an alternate egg. He's got a, sh I don't remember what this scarf thing is. It's a shimag or something, I believe. Uh, yeah, I don't really remember. So, and one of the best thing about uh, this is he, he has some real weapon, some real looking weapon. The I remember, I remember getting the first Snake Eyes, the one, the, the first one they've made with the uh, classified series. And he was uh, all black and he had this nerf space looking type of weapon, which wasn't really cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the box. Now let's get inside. So... So yeah, and if you... Want to know? I got him from uh, online from Amazon here. Okay, let's get a bit more here. Are we in? Yes, we're in. Oh, there's two bucks. There's Snake Eyes and the dog. Nice. And there's, I believe, another box. Oh, it's like a crate. Oh, Snake Eyes and Timber. That. Oh, is that the crate for the weapons? That's, a, that's actually pretty nice. I really like the idea of the crate. Wish they've made the crate out of plastic. But yeah, pretty nice. Let's uh, get the crate open. And we get it in a minute. Let's get Snake Eyes uh, and Timber out of here. So they have these uh, simple type of plastic twiz tweezer thing here. Just gonna untie them. Me my figure, please. And I believe that's Snake Eyes here. Oh, that's Snake Eyes. Oh, he has a bit of color on him. We'll get to him in a minute. Now let's get Timber out. Have to say, Timber really looks cool here. You don't often get action figures with uh, animals like that. There's Timber. 
Oh yes, quite a lot of articulations. Let's put that over there. Let's take a quick look at Snake Eyes. So he's basically the same Snake Eyes as every version you can find him uh, in the classified series, except he has a different paint job. He has uh, some gray belts here. Oh, the plastic for the arms is a bit, it's a bit loose. Here, I don't know why. He has an undersuit, an, a gray undersuit, and some uh, ar a black armor on him. He has a greenish type of uh, pants, an army pants, basically. Yeah, I don't know why these are so low on him. Yes, so these are supposed to be much higher. Yeah, they're supposed to be like this, at least. Yeah, they're supposed to be like high up like this. Don't know why they put this so low on him. Yeah, this should be like... Uh, yeah, like this, let's see. Yeah, perfect. They should even be like this, but uh, who's recounting? So yeah, that's pretty much Snake Eyes. And there's the main star here, Timber. And he has quite a lot of articulations, really well made, ball joint on the head. And turn here. Swivel for the legs. Yeah, I don't think we've ever got a, a timber figure that much articulated other than the classified series. But yeah. There's some really cool detailing on him. Really nice. So now let's see what we have in this uh, box here. I wish they've made this out of plastic. So I guess this is all the weapons we're gonna get. There's some uh, cobra look, nice fun looking thing. Let's put them in the back here. Let's put this uh, here. So let's get everything out. Yeah, we got everything out. So let's look at the uh, Cobra packaging here first. Let's put here right there. Oh, really nice uh, package. So what's inside? Oh, uh... oh you're gonna have to get. I don't... I don't like when you have to cut this uh, type of packaging because it's pretty nice. So let's try to open it as cleanly as possible. So what's inside? Oh, it's the clothing accessories. So we got the alternate head for, for timber here. Really, really nicely made. You can see the teeth and all that. And here we have the whip. Oh, wow. You can actually take the magazine out. So yeah, like I said, one of these, the thing I really like is about these figures is that you get, you actually get some real looking weapons here, not the fake space laser toys you used to get in the first series. So get a, a cool SMG here. You got this uh, scarf. I believe it's a, ch a, sh a shimag or something. Not sure. I wonder, can we put it on snake eyes? Yeah, you can put him on him. Oh, or you can just remove the head. <laughs> Let 
I'm not sure how to, are you supposed to put the... Oh yeah, so you're supposed to take this out and then you put this on him. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. It's not as form fitting as I hoped it would be. You can see it's just dangling here like that. I wish they gave him some real cloth, a real clothed version, but oh well. He's got his uh, knife. That you can put here like that. He's got a nice uh, gun, which is a, looks like a Beretta or something, or a name 92 maybe, which you can put there. He's got a silencer here, which you can fit on his pistol or the uh, his iconic UZ here. Can't take the uh, magazine out of this one, fortunately. And yeah, he has also this really cool, uh, cool looking gun. The magazine can take out. He's got uh, oh, it's one of these. Uh, Climbing hand, you know, with the Claude Ninja climbing hand. Unfortunately, they gave you only one of these, and it's just the the right the right hand. No idea why they didn't give us two. And here we have oh, a Ninja throwing star hands again. They just give you one hand, and this is the left one. That's dumb. So what else do we have? That's the. Warranty and stuff. Don't really need that. So what's in here? Oh, we have uh, a grappling gun, and you can take the uh, the hook out, and you can even put a string. I wish they gave you a string. Maybe there is a string. I put the this back here. What's that? Oh, oh we have another. We have an assault rifle here, and you can take the magazine out. Really cool here. That's really nice. He's got lots of weapons. What do we have here? Oh, that's the katana. Yeah, I, I almost found we had so many things. I completely forgot he's supposed to have a katana here. And uh, hey, it's actually the same sword he has. Uh, like the original uh, classified snake eyes, but this time it's uh, painted. It's a, paint a nice silver painted for the blade. And finally, this is going to be the uh, the sheath for the sword, and it's a nice uh, textured uh, brown and gray. It's a tight fit, a really tight fit. I hope the uh, paint on the katana isn't going to scratch off. But yeah, there's snake eyes. I really like the uh, dog, but do watch out for the head. The peg is a bit of a small peg. So yeah, they, 
Let's see, look at the dog with the uh, timber with his uh, angry face. But yeah, really nice uh, figure. I like that you can store all your weapon with uh, just this little safe. I really wish they gave you two of these hands. And uh, you, they gave uh, maybe a, not a hard plastic for this scarf uh, shima here because that's uh, yeah doesn't look good from uh, any other side than uh, from the front like that. So yeah, and I wish they gave you a string for this. They give you a grappling gun and you can't use a string. Also, I wish they gave you, I remember the first Snake Eyes having a backpack where you could put his, uh, his weapons and all that. Unfortunately, there's no peg on any of the weapons they gave you here. So, unfortunately, you can't peg any of them. But I like that the fact they gave you the uh, iconic UZ here. And that you can put the uh, silencer on it. That's nice and cool. So, yeah, a really great figure. So, do I recommend you getting him? I'd say, I know there's another version of him with a, a gray timber here, but if you want the white version of timber and you like having all these weapons, I'd say, yeah, it's a definitely, yeah, it's a very good figure. It's a really nice uh, snake eyes. I like that they gave him uh, lots of weapons. Snake eyes is not usually the one uh, that has that many weapons, he usually just get uh, the UZ and just the katana here. So yeah, really nice uh, Jaijo classified figure. And yeah, the main star would be Timber here. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and leave a comment.